hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the pause menu to our game okay because for now we don't have any option to pause the game okay and also uh, you guys will be thinking that we have completed our car controller but we didn't add the speed or you can say speedometer okay but don't worry we will be adding that in our uh, mobile inputs okay when we will be adding mobile inputs to our game we're gonna then add the speed meter but for now let's focus up on our pause menu so for the pause menu first of all we need to create a UI canvas let's name this as pause menu okay and in here we're gonna create a UI button so legacy button let's name this as pause okay from this button remove the text click on it go inside game sprites and we need to provide this sprite in there okay click on set native size this is our button okay what we need to do now is to move it to this top right side so move it to the top right let's resize it by 50 and 50 and then again uh, click top right okay so it will be showing right there let's click on scene view change into 2d mode double click on pause menu here is the pause button let's move it a little bit right here okay now after this uh, what we need to do is now to create the pause menu in which we will be giving the button to continue the game or either go back to the main menu okay so in the UI I will create a panel just leave this as it is okay and let's click on this uh, rec tool and make this a little bit big on each side so that it covers the whole screen okay let's change its color make the alpha value 150 and in here now let's create a UI button not text UI legacy button okay and what we're gonna do we're gonna remove this sprite okay so you can disable it then open up the button and in here type continue make this button width as 200 by 40 and then inside the text make the font size 40 and let's select the font okay as you can see it looks good change its color to white and that is all okay so this is our continue button now let's duplicate this and move this button a little bit right here and move the other one up there okay like this and this button will be our main menu button so let's type main menu okay now let's name this as continue and the second one is main menu button and name this one as whoops uh, okay let's click on it again continue button okay so once we have this then click on game then click on scripts click on ui and in here let's create a c sharp script by the name of scene manager script click on the pause menu and drag and drop the script okay now let's open this up let me close these other scripts okay now on this one first of all at the top we will create a private pool by the name of is paused this will be equals to false then create a public 
game object by the name of menu UI. After this, create a method which will be responsible for uh, loading any scene, okay? And we're gonna provide whatever scene we want to load to this scene name. And in here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna say time dot time scale equals to one. What this means, uh, when we set the time scale to one, it just uh, resume the game, or you can say unpause the game, okay? And then we're gonna say scene manager dot load scene, and let's pass the scene name in there, okay? And at the top, make sure that you add the using unity engine dot scene management package okay now after this create a method for pausing the game okay so we're gonna name this as pause game now in here i will say time dot time scale equals to zero and when we make the time scale zero it just pause the game okay nothing moves when the game is paused and also set the is pause to true because yes the game is paused and we want to show the menu ui so i'm gonna make the menu ui true okay and after this as you know that we have the car sounds so what we want to do when the game is paused we want to disable all audio sources in the scene so in order to do that you need to just type audio listener dot pause equals to true okay now let's create a method for resuming the game or you can say continuing the game so let's say continue game and in this first of all we're gonna set the time back to normal so time scale will be equals to one is post will be equals to false we're gonna set the menu ui to false and set the audio uh, listener to false as well okay after this we're gonna say uh, we're gonna actually create a, a function to uh, toggle between pause and continue okay so i'm gonna say public void toggle pause continue and if the game is paused then continue the game or else pause the game okay simple as that and change this to using scene management okay then get back right here and first of all in the pause menu provide this panel in there okay you can change this now to menu ui okay it's named to menu ui and add the menu ui in there okay and then open up the menu ui on the continue and main menu button click a on click event drag and drop the pause menu in there then select the continue button and when the continue button is pressed we're going to continue the game and if the main menu button is pressed then we're going to say load scene and let's load the main menu scene okay that's it and also uh, let me actually check the continue button okay we are continuing the game now right here on this pause button we will also add our own click event tag and drop the pause menu and we're going to select pause game method okay that is all let's now move to the game here it is let's play the game 
here is the timer let's pause the game as you can see the timer stops we have the continue button and the main menu button but it doesn't work okay so we have to check it out why it doesn't work let's click on this and I think the reason behind this is when uh, let me start the game and show you okay when there is some text okay as you can see this text is on top of the uh, continue and main menu button so that's why we are unable to click it okay but let's stop the game again start it again okay and if we let uh, this timer finish now if you click on pause as you can see it works if you click on continue it works and if you click on main menu it also works okay so that issue is due to the the uh, countdown text is overlapping the uh, pause menu okay so there are now two solutions the first one is when we are uh, counting down we want the whole pause menu uh, or you can say this pause menu button to be disabled or the other thing which we can do is when we press the pause button we will uh, disable the text okay so let's do this other method when we click on pause we don't want to show any of the text okay and also when we pause the game we will also be uh, disabling the mobile inputs and all of that okay so i think the second solution is the best so for this we just need to open up the scene manager script and on this let's make a reference to our timer so public game object timer object or timer ui object okay and right here when we pause the game we're gonna first of all set that to false okay and when we uh, continue the game we're gonna set it to true that's it now we have the countdown right here so i'm gonna click on pause menu and drag and drop that in there okay and let's test it out again if you now stop it as you can see it gets stop and we can continue it back again okay everything works perfectly fine okay so now we have added the pause menu now let's go ahead and add this pause menu in our other scenes as well okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a prefab out of this so if we go inside prefabs let's drag and drop this pause menu let's click on it and click on prefab unpack completely then let's open up our practice mode and right here we're gonna drag and drop it okay so it is added and for the timer ui object what we're gonna do is right here we're gonna create an empty game object let's name this as non usable okay this will be just an empty game object which we will be providing it right there okay that's it and now if we play the game okay okay so we are unable to pause the game right here and the reason behind this is uh, we don't have any event uh, system in here okay so make sure that in uh, in the ui you will find this event system make sure to add this and then when we play the game again you will see that our pause menu is working perfectly fine on this one okay now let's do it on the other scene as well so in here let's open up scene 2 i mean race 2 scene let's go inside prefabs drag and drop the pause menu and right here we have the event system so we don't have to add it and also uh, let's create an empty game object non usable click on pause menu and drag and drop that in there 
okay now if we play it uh, I mean we play the game right here as you can see here it is okay when the game stops the timer stops as well and when we continue the game the game starts back again okay so we have added the pause menu in our game and now let's end this video right here